Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Google. So to those of you who don't know, Google is accepting application for the summer intern program and the link to apply is already open. And in this video, we're going to talk about the eligibility and what you can do to be able to crack the interview, get shortlisted and get into their internship program. And let me tell you, this is a great opportunity. As you might already know, Google is the top of the top of the companies and having an internship at Google will set your career up for life, right? And apart from that, the pay is also banging. You'll be getting north of one lakhs per month as stipend. So let's get into it and let's see how you can crack this opportunity. Now, first things first, the link to apply is open and it is in the description box. They are accepting application. So make sure that you apply. Now, as for the eligibility, everyone is eligible. There is no restriction on applying as long as you're pursuing bachelor's in technology, BTEC, a master's in technology mtech you are eligible to apply however the preference is given to third year students penultimate year of you know your graduation but everyone can apply the preference is for third year student so my suggestion to you is if you're a college student make sure that you apply there is no restriction on it before we get into how to crack the opportunity make sure that you subscribe to the channel because i'll be bringing a lot more content about off-campus opportunities for you if you want to get a tech job whether it is an internship whether it is an sd1 role in the top companies you will be seeing opportunities on this channel as soon as it becomes available so make sure to subscribe all right so the first thing is resume shortlisting now google is very careful about the resume that they shortlist in the case of amazon everyone was getting a test link right but here you have more you know filtering you have more of a criteria than Amazon. So you need to make sure that your resume is pretty much top notch. All right. So the first thing is obviously ATS score. Make sure that your resume's ATS score is as high as it can be. All right. Make sure you have proficiency in one language, either C++, Java or any other. My suggestion to you will be always choose Java because Java is a preferred language in the most of the top product based companies. But even if you have any other language, that is totally fine as well. Apart from that, your coding profiles matter a lot in the case of Google. As you know, Google is a company that focuses entirely on problem solving in the interview. So make sure if you have good coding profiles, put it. If you have decent coding profiles, put it. And if you have a good rating on lead code, code forces, code shift, then highlight it. If you're a specialist expert on code forces, if you're three star, four star, five star in code shift or on lead code, if you're, you know, a night guardian or one level below, try to highlight it because coding profiles does matter to Google. You also need to have personal projects in your resume. So make sure that you're not putting the common clone projects. Make sure you're putting some good projects in there with unique name of the project, unique description of the project. Try to avoid copy pasting or just saying something like WhatsApp clone, Facebook clone. No, try to give a unique name to it and try to give a good project in your resume. Whatever the best project you have, put it in your resume. You cannot be lacking off in here. All right. So your ATS score and these three things are the most important. Once you have it in there, you have a very good chance of getting shortlisted. Now, after getting shortlisted, you will go across the interview processes. Let me talk a bit about that. So you might already know by now, Google's entire interview is all around DSA. A little bit can be discussion about projects or CS fundamentals, but the entirety of it, the majority of it is revolving around DSA. So if you're not good at problem solving, you will end up getting rejected. So if you want to know more about how the interview is going to be, I've shot three interview experiences with Google interns. All of those are in the description box. You can see them as well. But let me explain the interview process and the required topics a bit briefly. So you'll have two technical interviews. Basically, the initial will be like a phone screening round and then you'll have a proper technical interview. Like I said, the majority focus will be on DSA. And the most important topic in case of Google are you have graph, you have tree, you have segment tree. So even if you don't know segment tree because it is considered one of the harder topics, try to at least know what it is, right? Graph you need to be good at, you need to be very good at DFS, BFS, and you know, topological sorting. Do a couple of graph problems on lead code. Also, I'll be giving some Google tag problems in the description box. So make sure that you do at least some of them to have hands on, right? Apart from that, you need to know recursion and backtracking. Make sure that you know the take, not take, or pick, not pick approach that is there in subset some problem. Revise that. Apart from that, you need to know monotonic stack as you might see stack problems. And the most important thing is you need to know how to use the data structures. So if you're a C++ guy, make sure you're good with STL. If you're a Java guy, make sure you're good with collections and you need to know the internal working of it. Because in Google, 
the focus is on conceptuality as well so they'll ask you how does this work how does that work so make sure you know the inner implementation of everything as well make sure your concepts are clear in dsa all right the important topics that i already said you need to know graph you need to know tree you need to know backtracking and recursion you need to know monotonic stack you can be asked dp as well so you need to know at least the standard dp problems again those you will find in the description box all right so these are the important topics the questions you'll find in the description box try to do that as well now in the interview a very important part is how you communicate with the interviewer all right and google is very particular about this even if you solve the entire problem if you are not talking well with the interviewer you can still get rejected so and on the flip side even if you don't get to the very exact solution right away and you're thinking you're talking with the interviewer properly the interviewer will nudge you in the right direction all right so you need to talk well with the interviewer at very start give a basic brute force approach then think how you will optimize it think along with the interviewer talk well communicate your ideas whatever you're writing in code communicate while you're writing and that should be pretty much it and make sure that you go all the way from brute force to optimize instead of giving the direct optimize approach right say the brute force approach out loud and slowly and steadily optimize it and bring it to the best approach possible all right if you do that that should be pretty much enough the interviews for interns at google are easier than sd1 and sd2 right all right so if you do that much it should be enough just don't panic go with confidence and you will be able to clear it so again to remind you the link to apply is in the description box if you're a college student studying in btech or mtech make sure that you apply don't miss this opportunity because it will close soon what happens people then message me that the link is not working it is not that the link is not working the link is taken down because they're no longer accepting application that's what happens right right now it is open so don't take too long apply right away all right and again subscribe to the channel because i'll be bringing a lot more opportunities for you in the future and you will get a lot more opportunities to prove yourself and crack your dream company all right so that's it let's see you in the next video